Hello, I'm Andrew Simon. and welcome at Hearts of Iron 4 as Nazi Britain, the British Empire. Uh, we're currently going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the entire of Comintern. I mean, at the same time, admittedly, the Axis are. But, you know, let's take advantage of it. And we're adding more uh, countries to Comintern by declaring war on them, which is uh, always a fun one. All right, so we're currently trying to wipe out Greece. i uh, fighting a few other things like, you know, Bosnia, etc. But Greece is one that I want to destroy as quickly as possible, because that way we can grab uh, Yugoslavia. Come on. Need Athens. Oh, and that is our Crusader tank. Uh, excellent. The Cromwell, a little bit ahead of time. Uh, we need to do a land doctrine policy, actually. So we're going to grab Kampfgrupp. Uh, this also means we can now mess around with some of our divisions. Uh, now, I won't edit the tank brigade just yet, uh, mainly because I want to build up a nice backlog of tanks before we do that. So production, let's look at the tanks, uh, upgrade needed 20, yeah let's forget about the upgrade then, let's just switch over to medium tanks. And in fact, let's actually switch over to an upgraded form of medium tanks, so we'll create a variant, um, have the armor increased, ah the engine's not great, we can get up to 8 kilometers per hour, but I guess that's not what the uh, medium tanks are for. Main gun. Yeah. How about two points in everything? Sure. I'll just work on that. And then when we've got a few of them stockpiled, we should be able to be able to roll out our new uh, our new group. So I've got loads of naval experience, and I'm not, I don't really want to use it because I'm not actually building any naval ships right now. I know people say, oh, you really should. My naval can take on anyone in the game. Um, I will when I get a chance to research them, but right now I'm busy with other things. Ah, the Soviets have reinforced through Iran, which is what I was afraid of. Okay. Greece still uncapitulated. Which is a shame, because I was really hoping that they would. A bit, you know, for all of them to hold on this long. Selfish. Bulgaria capitulated, Greece is capitulated. Oh, good timing. Uh, of course, they still haven't given up Crete. That's by the by. Right. It looks like uh, everything's secured down here. Sweet. Here's a new front line. Uh, you? I'm getting the feeling you'll probably make uh, better use of you over here, so... I'm just going to tell you to garrison. Just there, just to get you to move. Royal tank regiment. And let's get an offensive line up here. And I've got the Royal Tank Regiment, actually. It might be worthwhile me going and getting that one ahead of time. It only took like 100 days. Hmm. How's that air cover? All of it on Greece, I don't need anymore. Move you up to here. Maybe over the Balkans. Hi, I would like to declare one you in a second when my troops have like stopped like fanning around. That'll do. And you still have not got enough troops there to really be worthwhile. And they joined Common Turn. Of course they did. I need to take advantage of this before like Greece attacks them. Mm. They actually seem to have enough units to hold me off. And then I can't even see their like numbers and stuff. It's really annoying. Three military factories. Oh, oh dear. That is terrible. Um, more tanks. Doctrine. I'm never going to be able to get that. I want us to research uh, for doctrines. Fire production, bomber command. Destroy focus. Yeah, let's go destroy focus. I'll be able to research my destroyers faster. Let's 
Seven days to finish landing craft. Yeah, that is not working very well. Holding on to our line, even though we're not really pushing. Yeah, I'm going to stop you from pushing. It's not really getting us anywhere. Uh, you are a field marshal, though, aren't you? Right, yeah, go join. Landing craft. That's what I was hoping for, and that means that ideally... How long till you're ready? 30 days. I have to declare on Portugal within the 30 days, unfortunately. So I'm declaring Portugal, like, in a second once I've got my blockade up. 50% ahead of time as well for this one? Very nice. I'll have to go for that in a second. Firstly, though, I don't want to get mechanized. Ah, oh, it's still ahead of time. God damn it. Logistics company. I've been missing out on that one for a little while. Down Portugal in a second. I just want to grab my navy. I'm trying to figure out where they are. There they are. Let the submarines go. I don't care about them. Oh dear God. Is this just like it forever? Can I like tell you to do something different, please? Come over here and patrol over here. Just ignore your current job. Make sure Portugal's cut off. I'll give you a few days to like get your act together, but I don't think I can... Yeah, this is going nowhere. They're locked. Do I have naval bombs? <laughs> Something can break this. Naval bombs. There we go. Maybe they'll help? I have no idea. If I split the I can't split the fleet when I'm in the middle of the fight, can I? Can I? Ah, oh, no, I can't. No. Uh, hi, Portugal. Political commissars! Oh, uh. Guaranteed by Sweden. Oh, Sweden, that worked out so well for you last time. They joined comms then. This is really frustrating. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Really? Like what? Crete. Mate, you're a bit late on that one, eh? Right. Bush. Not sure how this is going to go, but we're going to try anyway. I can't actually see anyone. Really frustrating. Do I have more ground attack? Some, not many. Uh ooh. Greek Navy's out. I would say enforced, but eh, they're not really enforced. They are nothing to me. What do I need? What do we need? What do we need? Yeah, we need some close air support. Oh, we are pushing them back. Very nice. They must have diverted troops somewhere. I don't know where they would have diverted troops to, though. Now, let's change our production up a little bit. Um, sorry, our recruitment. Uh, we've got a load of troops being deployed, etc. Blah, blah, blah. I think we want to train a few more tank brigades. And we'll also want to uh, have you going for infinity. Yeah, fine. Uh, and we'll also want to train some motorized. There we go. That should be fine. And when we get the ability to actually have mechanized troops, we're just going to be like suddenly lots of mechanized. Yeah, yeah I know. Resistance occupation is happening. I really should build some dedicated um, stuff for that. Trotsky survives assassination attempt. <gasps> After violence struck Mexico City home, Leon Trotsky killed a would-be assassin with the ice pick the man tried to attack him with. Poor Trotsky. 
Ah, oh, excellent. They're falling back to Belgrade. Um, do we have the ability to actually do this landing? No, we still lack because... <gasps> Shocking! We're bugged. That's really frustrating. I don't know what to do about that. Free speed inside. Really? God damn it. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess. Wait. I just remembered I've got submarines. There we go. They can do that. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Free civilian factories. They're honestly uh, amazing. Um. I would like to. Do you know what? We could convert some. Ah, screw it. We could just build them. Hi, America. Do you want to be my industrial powerhouse? Yep. I'm never going to use this many factories. I, I'll try, but it's, it's just not going to happen, is it? There we go. Have fun with that. Now, come on, subs. You're not really meant to do this, but sure. I believe in you. Side channel attack. Come on. Do it. And now we've got side channel attack. We could get that. We could get that. Um, get the Cromwell. Only 76 days. Yeah. No stretch the Cromwell. A little waste of the arm experience we spent, but yeah, I'm sure we'll find a use for it. You? Yeah, you're on aggressive good, because this is your one chance to get a landing. I want you to go back to uh, normal with your battle plan. Don't go too aggressive. And over here, I'm going to get you to go and... You know what? Stop your advance. It's getting a little bit costly right now. Just going to slow down your advance. I'm going to keep pushing in Tehran, though. You keep pushing. And here we go. Right. Grab that port. Yes. Try and take Lisbon if we can. We're very happy. Yes, we took Lisbon. Sweet, that's that went better than I could have expected, to be honest. Yeah, just push them, like keep them in the route, like a permanent route if we can. Military factories, god damn it. Uh yeah, sure, more of those. I don't know. Yes. More. Uh we need more like shooty shooty like infantry guns? Yeah, we can do that. There we go. Like, my technical terminology is great. We need more shooty shooty infantry guns. Yeah, just keep them off balance and keep pushing them. We should win this easily. Meanwhile, over here. Just backwards and forwards. How's our air cover? Yeah. It's generally deemed fine. We could do more. I won't roll out more yet, although I have a little bit. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer before getting out more. Oh, for God's sake. I can't go into this because it's technically owned by Italy, yet it's occupied by someone else. Can I just, like, can I have military access? Let me sort this crap out for you. Uh, and I have no idea why, but you don't need that. Or that. Or that. Actually, you do need the one up here. Sorry.
Uh, and no, you really don't need most armies on that. You need most armies on this. Capitulation! Sweet! What about you, Hungary? Now, I know technically I can't really use Hungary, but what will happen is they'll get joined to Comaturn. Comaturn will then get them into the war of the Axis. The Axis will then fight them. I'll still do most of the fighting because I'm awesome. Uh, but what will happen is, effectively, they will have to spend points getting them because they're nearby. And those points that they would have to spend in the peace deal, I can, like, use on stuff of stuff. So, I like the idea of going toward them. Oh, was that the news? Yes, we got the spiteful. I can't get it for carrier though. Ugh, it'll take way too long. I could get the Spitfire for carrier. Uh, yes, let's do it. And let's also then change up all of our air production. Technically, it's only that uh, to the spiteful. And because we've got loads and other points, I can be like, "Hi, I would like to make your engine like amazing." Look at the agility. Oh, so beautiful. And then be like, yeah, I'll put in two points of reliability, two points in weapons. Ah, but it cuts the agility massively. You know what? Let's just screw that. Like, yeah, let's just have that. I like it. Destroy focus. Um, Coastal command. Sure. Where is your capital now? Down here? Fair enough. Don't think it's going to be much use to you. Ooh. Suddenly you've got a lot of troops defending. Strange you didn't use them on your capital. They're really low organization though, so we should be fine. In fact, we might be able to shock you off. Yes. Ah, surrounded. Obliterated. It looks like this is going to be the end of Portugal. Oh, they haven't capitulated already. 85%. Eh, still, we've got the capital. This should be all their cores as soon as we capture these two. Yeah, it's all their cores, but they're still fighting. Infantry equipment. Motorized. 0.22 years ahead of time, but I need it. Uh, free military factories. Let's let's get more spitefuls, I guess. Modify government. Air force. Ooh. Oh, I don't really like any of those. I mean, night operational penalty. Sure, I'll go for that one. My navy's still over here. Aha! But my naval my naval bombers did get a kill. In fact, this is actually greyed out. What? Have you, like, realized that my navy's bugged? No, they've, like, that's, that's actually, like, fully... Yeah, that's my entire navy gone. You know what I said about not needing to build a navy? Apparently I do. That's, that's not a nice bug. That's a very, very unfair bug. Um... Oh well. Hi, Hungary. Yeah. I'd like to talk to you. Uh, why have I not even set up like an attack plan? I'm a terrible person, that's why. Declare war. Oh, Sweden might like oh no, what am I gonna do? Sweden's gonna protect you. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm so afraid. Uh, wow, that's a lot of fighters. I'm not even going to compete with that. I'm just going to shift my planes over here.
I'm not even going to remotely try to compete with that many fighters. I could. I'd have to pull them from all over the place. And that's just not worth it for me. So you didn't got it fast. Hello. To be fair, I've started this fight. They're going to be fighting Germany and stuff. Germany have to get troops down here. It's going to hurt Germany. I'm happy with that. It hurts Germany in the long run. I'm sure. But so far, not hurting too badly. Meanwhile, my attack into Tehran has stalled a little bit. We get a manual attack going on. Yeah, that's that's how I feel. We're gonna do a manual attack. However, the world's looking pretty good. British Empire owns most of the land. Uh, Iran is always actually a bit of an annoying fight. They're pretty damn tough for a fairly small nation. I mean, they're not small, but you know what I mean. In, in, in a minor nation. Um, this, even if it works poorly, I'll just pull out and like let Germany deal with it because then they'll have to fight. Uh, what else? Dear God, we killed another sub, although I still have no idea what that's about. Um, Portugal. I just... I have no idea. I'm going to have to try and kill Portugal the old-fashioned way. Everybody, go to Lisbon. Actually, that's not close. It's good. Porto. Go to here. And I guess here's a front line in Africa. Uh, sure. I mean, the most important part is to try and grab this, because that should hopefully push them over the edge. How close are they to capitulating? Current war... British-Turkish War. Ninety-five percent. Okay, just need to push them a little bit harder. Yeah, I know you've got S priority there. I don't really mind. Anyway, if you enjoyed, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.